G'day everybody and welcome back for some more assertive acquisitions with a sad but elevated Capac and a what? What am I sad? What are you talking about? Frozen TFE because you're in a crouch. Mm -hmm. you, you lost your Polo conflict. I assumed you would be sad about that. Oh, I forgot. Are, are you sad now? About what? <laughs> I mean, he did. It'd be easy to forget when you've been obliterated into atoms by crashing. Did did you? Did you forget about the head injury, it seems? What head injury? <laughs> okay. So, okay, you've forgotten about the Polo Conflict. Are you sad about the lack of a uh, control tower for the hangar area? Yeah, I'm real mad about that. Okay, so you remember that bit? Yep. So you remember when you're angry at me, but you don't remember being sad at the loss of your own builds? Yep. Oh, okay. and I remember being mad because you wouldn't let me put hatch covers all over the floor of the uh, med bay. Yes, because it would be decidedly inconvenient. Would you like to come with me, Kappa? Because I can fix the mad, but I can't fix the sad. Well, I can fix one type of mad. The other type of mad, I think you're just stuck with. What, what? nuclear missiles? What are you talking about? Just follow me head down here. Don't forget to close the door. I thought like somebody was coming in behind me. Oh, we're about to get smashed by rocks again. No, you'll be fine. It's fine. My ship will protect us, mostly. Oh! Wait, is this colour different? Yes! Gunfire! There they go. Yep. Oh, that sounded like an impact. Was it an impact or was it shot? That wasn't a laser blast. Something hit us. No, I think TFE's turrets are just getting better. But anyway, do you want to come back in the, the hangar and actually, you know, look behind where you came out of the door? Got some containers. Come back, where'd you go? Get back here. I don't here. know, I'm stuck in a crevice. <laughs> come back in through the hangars, please. Uh, do, you, do you notice something different? Uh, yeah, you made a fake control tower. What? It's 100% real. There's even a helm up there. Oh. Oh, is it like a backup? Yeah. No, no, no. It's... I mean, I've... I've not really built a floor in here yet, but... Uh... Kind of important. <laughs> well, I got started with doing things around here, and then I kind of was like, I don't really want to do more of this until we figure out what else is going here. Uh, but yeah. It's a real control tower. It's a bit cramped, but I guess it's... suitable. Well, the idea was that the buttons on the sides here would line up with the hangers. And then the helm could control all of it independently as well. That's a separate thing. And I added a little bit of colour because TFE said my hanger looked too sterile. But I'd already made it look less sterile by kind of roughing up, scuffing up the floor a bit. But see, it flows nicely through to the bridge now. It did before. No... What do you mean, no? It had a, just a direct staircase up to the tower. Yeah, the direct staircase out of a door that you get stuck on. Sounds yeah. like a you problem. Maybe you should just duck once in a while. I don't want to have to duck to get through a door. There's a reason I stopped growing when I did. Anyway, uh, that's my news, other than the fact that there's now a way to walk through the welder way. Welder pit, wall, tube thing. Yeah. The wibbly woo. The <laughs> <laughs> the wibbly welder woo, yes. Right. Um, TFE. There's cargo access now. I believe you have a GPS that you sent us called Missile Ship Sitting Here. Yeah, that thing we ran into that was firing rockets at the ship we were chasing. And us. Yeah. Shall we go... Does anyone else want to go inspect that? To see what the yeah, heck that sure. thing was when we're not getting chased. What are we inspecting? Remember that ship that just kind of came out of nowhere and started blasting us when we were trying to capture that cargo ship? Not vaguely. So you remember that, but you don't remember losing your ship. You've got it. Well, let's go inspect it. Where not is it? Too, not too closely if it's still got missiles. Well, if it has missiles, I have railguns. This is true. I am launching the saffron. I will get in the H-tram. Man, I love that launch. 
So good. I'm going to have to figure out how to do some sort of automated um, depressurization and everything of the hangar bays. Oh, I've also added vents to the hangars too, Kamak. I did that while you were sleeping. So that we can pressurize and depressurize them individually. Sure. Yeah, why shoot? Seeing if I had any bullets. Tiffy, you have some sort of... You don't have some sort of grinder pit, do you? Um, what are you thinking of dropping Kapak in it? I'm thinking of dropping the pointy stick and Kapak's fighter in there and then printing off fresh ones. Because ah. Kapak is all welded up wonky. Because <laughs> he, <laughs> he didn't align his projector mm. right. I mean, I am adding... <laughs> that the, was uh, intended. I am adding a little hanger for the hr I'll be able to squeeze one in. Well, I mean, an option for you. Just... Yeah, oh. What? Well, I, had I knew your ship was going to get bigger than mine. No. <laughs> the problem is I couldn't fit the h train with the other bits. And that was where I had space. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fine. What's okay. going on now? <laughs> just, just watching TFE ship grow and grow and grow. Uh, All right. I think this will probably be the last thing. <laughs> Kappa, can you see us? Vaguely. All right, follow. Uh, it's a pity I don't have any money because there's a merchant just off to us. Right. Are you trying to dampen to me, Kappa? Yep. You better hope I don't have more braking than you do. Uh, you probably do. <laughs> I don't think I actually do. How much does your ship weigh? I don't know, but I'm missing two of my reverse thrusters. No, it says it on the right-hand side of your HUD. There's 23. Yeah, you've got like six reverse thrusters that I can see. And you weigh... Hey, what happens if I then damped cap hack? A got, like, third a of what I do. You weigh two-thirds of what I do. It's like... I'm 31,944 kilograms. We're just passing a wandering merchant. Yeah. Yeah. Very close. They're yeah. traveling in single file to hide our numbers. <laughs> Break, Jack. No, don't do it. <laughs> uh, if, if that happens, my evasive strategy is up. <laughs> Ooh, a bioweapon transport. That sounds fun. Oh, I can't see that. I don't see it either. Uh, it's off to the right, about eight kilometers away. Is that a thing you actually want to go inspect? Or is that just you being distractible? Oh yeah, that GPS um, is only approximate. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled for anything around us? Yeah, in case it's closer than that. <laughs> Very hard to pick a ship versus a star. Oh, I got something down below, two kilometers. I got a target, but not a uh, antenna. Is that it? Uh, maybe. When you say below, are you oriented the same way I am? Yes, you are. Oh, yep, seen. Be careful, Kapak. Don't engage. There? Kapak's heading towards. Oh, there. Gee, yeah, that might have been the thing that was. Whoa, Whoa. it's firing missiles! <laughs> Evasive maneuvers, Kapak! Oh! Oh! Ow! <laughs> Kapak's taking fire! Um. Well, I guess the GPS was slightly inaccurate. <laughs> oh, I had a great view of that. Alright. Switching to railgun. Blammo! Oh. oh. I just lost my target lock. I've still got yeah, it. Yeah, you're... Yeah, close to it. I don't know what I hit then, but it wasn't what I was aiming at. Uh, what am I hearing? Uh, oh, your me. guns. Nope, oh, yep. And slightly missing. <laughs> Loose though. Blammo! I don't need to be doing much, it's just seeing it there. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, now it's drifting. Oh. I think I just shot its gun off. I think it's floating. I don't... Oh no. No. It's just a weird angle. Oh, that was a hit. 
right on the gun. I think that's like an assault cannon or something. Well, if um, I had any... Looks like uh, they got atmospheric thrust now. Yeah, if it had anything else, it's gone. Do you reckon this fell off the back of a truck? Oh, it moved it, at the wrong time, it but I still hit the turret. Large, it'd be an awfully large truck. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I've only got two railgun shots left. Further away from the GPS than I would have expected. Ran into something else. It's been very slowly drifting. Very slowly drifting for who knows how long. From recoil or something, it could have drifted. Oh, someone's getting in range. I'm guess gonna guess it's a capac. Yep. Oh. Is there any other, any other evidence of whatever what we were chasing? Like chunks of it around here or anything? I don't want to use my railgun ammo on the on the Gatlings. It feels like such a waste. It's still got two heavy weapons of some kind. Aha! That got the that got the heavy turret. I'm not too worried about the missiles. Because they're easier to dodge. I think the missiles are out, but... Oh, it's drifting away slightly. Yeah, it is, it is slowly yeah. moving. Oh. Swing and a miss. It's kind of unsporting to fight this thing when it can't move. Yeah. Come on, stop moving so I can hit your turret. Last rail gun blast. Oh yeah, bullseye. All right, Capac, there should just be one large tar one um, Gatling turret left. Oh, no. evidently not. <laughs> yeah. Come on, hit me with your turret. You don't have any... Um, are you not seeing the rockets, let's see. Oh yeah, it can't hit any of them. Especially since I've destroyed one of them. Destroyed two of them. Yeah! Oh, it's tracking the saffron, looks like. Oh yeah, it is. But I've taken out its guns. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> it turned on you quick. <laughs> There's an interior turret. I took it out. <laughs> Did you just launch rockets at it? No, I just fired at it with my Gatling guns. There's, there's a couple of... Oh, no! Bunk. I heard that one. Come on, lock my land again. Uh, I can see a programmable block. Should I shoot it? Uh, it's got a yeah. lot of atmospheric thrusters. Yeah, it's only got atmospheric from what I can see. That's why I was saying I thought it fell off the back of a truck. Oh, there it goes. Oh! Did it almost swat you? Yep. It's bad when it switches from one of us to the other. Um, I think maybe I'll, we go in on foot. Yeah, I will stay out here and supervise. <laughs> How brave uh, of you! I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here. while it's aiming itself at me. I'll just stay here to, to try to encourage it not to move around. Oh, it's moving a bit. Oh, oh, it's it's re re acquiring target. Uh, it's got. Oh, it's got a picture of a bird on it. It's got cryo tubes on board. Well, anyone we know. No one's woken up inside here. Oh, it's spinning like a top. Full. Aha! Oh! And it just detonated. How did I not die? Oh. Wait. Why is there nothing left? It just disintegrated. Yeah. Wait, you didn't die? No! What? How? <laughs> Hang on! Why are you upset that I didn't die? 
I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty upset you didn't die too. Who's shooting? Who do you think? Rude. I, I don't know how I didn't die in that explosion. <laughs> zoom, 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 eh, h trap. Uh, are there anyone who doesn't see the guy here? You mean the dark purple thing against the dark purple knight? Um, hey, Capac. Yeah? Come back to this asteroid. Uh, why? Um, hey, I found something you want to see. Wait, 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 wait. Capac. Come back, come come to the saffron. Try and fix my ship. I think I found Luigi. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, come over here. Drifting? Yeah, it looks like it's drifting. Though <laughs> there's a distinct lack of um everything else that Luigi was attached to. You hear you hear yet? Come back. No, I'm trying to dock my ship. It's very difficult. Why is it so difficult? I can't see anything. Why can't you see anything? Because of the way you designed these hangars. How is my design the fault? How's it not? The hangar was designed before your ship. Uh, you're just pushing it, sweetie. I, I'm trying to Wait, lock onto it. I have a landing gear. It's not working. I'm going to have turn around. Have you got an auto-lock? No, it is not. Probably should. <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Aha. Ooh. Got it. I have. What the? You hear, Kabak? Yeah. See? Told you I found Luigi. Apparently, it got ejected well clear of wherever the rest of the Polo conflict is. It was Why just drifting here. mangled on the back? What? Because the guy exploded. Do you not remember where the rest of the thing this was attached to went? Nope. I don't remember the colossal fireball that nearly killed all three of us. You'd think I would remember that. You know there are some points where I'm not sure if you're just being deliberately obtuse or if you really do have a head injury. Yeah, it's impossible to say. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so I guess we grind this down. Or are you going to build... Or would you like to rebuild your, a third Polo conflict, which would be the... Drago argument. But this thing's functional already, so shouldn't we just stick it on like a connector so that we can just use it to jump the big ship in an emergency? Oh, like attach it to the carrier. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. We can do that. I was just meaning grind it down and build up one of the ones inside immediately. I mean, we could use the um, spot left by the polo conflict. <laughs> I, I think I think we'd be better off leaving it functional and building up one of the ones inside before we take it apart. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but did did you want to make a nope. Drago just, disagreement? A what? It was first the Tugo War, then it was the Pulo Conflict, so I was coming up with some other synonym. Uh, or do you want to make something new? Because remember we were talking about making some sort of heavy armor boarding vehicle with the uh, assert thrusters. We were? Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, TFE, can you keep an eye on him and can you two work on some sort of boarding craft together, please? Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I think we need to find a doctor. Well, Alright, I'll tell you what we are gonna need. What's that? Uh, we don't have any supply of oxygen now. Yeah, we do. We haven't built any oxygen tanks on the carrier yet. Yep. And TFE supplied us with ice, so this should be full. Uh, if you want to confirm that, that'd be good. Otherwise, the... Where did the oxygen tank? The Marlin has an oxygen in? supply, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. See all the hydrogen tanks. Oh. Some sort of Totally forgot that Capac boarding. actually put turrets on the back of the carrier. And thrusters too. I'm oh, yeah. the, tur the turrets are probably at the oh, worst wow. spot for actually being useful. <laughs> it's it's the the carrier can go forwards. I mean, it would use all our fuel in about two seconds. No, it wouldn't. 
There are, are a you... lot of tanks on board. <laughs> yeah, there's also a lot of large grid thrusters. <laughs> yeah, 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 but it, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Wait, didn't Kevin get killed by one of them? Or was that yeah. something else? <laughs> he did, and he didn't tell us. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Would you be able to lock this for me, please, TFA? Um... So I can let go of it. Using oh, build or oh, Capac? I got it. Thank you. We're both trying to do it. There we go. Where are we going to start building this mysterious new attack ship? Well, you can build it off the... Like, you can build it using the connector on the other side of the of Luigi, but... Um, yeah, that'll work, I suppose. But yeah, I build it with heavy armor. Yep. And the uh, assert thrusters. Ooh. How many are there? Six. So what I'm thinking is, if there are six of them that we've got, we can also go out and try and capture some more. But you probably want the strongest thrust in forward and reverse, right? Because that yeah. seems to be our most difficult, like the most difficult part of the capture. I don't know, Kavak, you've done more captures than any of us, so you know best. Well, the, the biggest problem is they just keep flipping around all over the place. Yeah, that's where I'm thinking the heavy armor might be helpful. Because it'll be, um... But heavy armor and then what, some... Tr like, punch into it and get a good grip on it. Well, just more that if it then spins on you as you're about to grab it, you're not going to take too much damage, it'll take more. Yes, and possibly not. don't have the cockpit at the front. Yeah. But I, f I feel like we kind of want, like, a whole bunch of landing gear, like, around the... The nose, so it could just grab from like any direction. Potentially. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Yes, you two chat about it and make some plans together and do some things. I am going to add. I say we go to the beach. We'd have to build one first. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. How large were we thinking? Well, I think the Polo Conflict size was probably appropriate because you don't want to go so big that then the, even with the Assert Thrusters you aren't able to actually move. So do we want to use all six Assert Thrusters for forward and backwards and use regular ones for the other directions? That could work. That's what I was suggesting before. Because that will kind of dictate what size the ship is going to be. Yeah. What, something like this sort of length? Assuming the connector is at the back of it. Well, I figure we'll have like the main body of the ship and then on like an extension off the front we'll have the, the grabby bit. Mm. I guess we're not worrying about necessarily getting it flush for boarding, just getting it close enough. We're jetpacks? Getting attached is the main thing. Mm. As long as we can get attached then we can try to wrestle them into submission. I mean, we could go for the large magnetic plates. Have a lot of surface area to work with. Uh, true. I don't know how resistant they are to damage, though. I mean, we can always try it and change it if it doesn't work. Well, they're bigger, so they have... Yeah, they've got 450 steel plate. Alright, so we get a big, big old magnetic plate on the front. Yeah, I think because... You were using landing gear, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so these are three times stronger, roughly, than the normal landing gear. And I think we want a buffer of, like, two or three, like, armor blocks before anything vital behind the magnetic Yeah. Plate. I just sworn there's, like, a cargo container access on the rear somewhere. Maybe uh, it was inside. You mean the connector that you're using to be attached? Yeah, that might be a good point. <laughs> I'm making buttons and guns for inside out ship. Thing. Ah, okay. Large magnetic plate is, unsurprisingly, large. Very large. Actually, it's almost exactly the width of Luigi. Well, that's convenient. Do you want to have the grabby bits in the middle or sort of like off to the sides? Uh, I think if it's... If it's in the middle, it's a bit easier to line up when you're trying to mm. target. Yeah, I was thinking you have, like, have all the important stuff, like, behind roughly this line here. So we can move it a little bit further forward. 
So I'm trying to think through what would be required to have some sort of automated system for depressurizing the hangars for the fighters before they're launched. And I can't think of the conditions we'd need to set to make sure that it doesn't depressurize at the wrong time. Uh, can you set them on like a, like a if then kind of setup? Yeah, but the conditions where we'd want it to depressurize are almost identical to the conditions where we'd want it to be pressurized because we're about to get out of the cockpit because we just landed. Because I was thinking if you set it to if the if the door to the central area is closed and the ship disconnects so the connector okay. isn't connected. Inventory yeah, I could probably do something like that. That's not a bad thought. Don't mind me, I'm just, um, this is the fighter that needs to be rebuilt because it's missing stuff. It's the outdated model. Oh, and then you could set it, you could set it so that when you reconnect, it automatically closes the external door. Yeah, I suppose I could set the internal door to be switched off when the external door is open as well. Yeah, something like that. So that you can't access the hangar bay unless, and also set the uh, the walkway doors to be locked as well. And by locked, I mean off. Yeah. I suppose if I also set up a script to automatically close the regular doors, then we won't, then they'll be unlikely to be the cause of a breach. Um, do we want the supports for the magnetic pad to be heavy armor rather than light armor? Ah, yes, good point. Oh, Okay, I tried to enter through the haunted door and was getting constantly jammed against the wall. <laughs> Didn't die, luckily. Really starting to like how it feels inside the carrier when you're in areas that are decorated. Because it feels it feels so much more functional than the big purple and white thing on the outside. Inventory full. Inventory full. I really like it how sounds it's so much together. more functional too. <laughs> yes. Why has Kevin got the green menace here? Uh, because I'm going to use that to grab the, uh, thrusters. Ah! You put landing gear on your green menace. I'll um, just make it temporary thing ah, so I can okay. shuttle the How many metal grids thrusters we around. 200... about 1800 metal grids. How much cobalt do we have is the better question. Three. 45,000. It's close to three. Let's go crazy, just have the entire thing be heavy armor. Like, I think... I I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. Uh, nor do I think it's a bad idea for you to put some turrets on there. As long as someone is aware that if there are turrets on there, there must be controls on the hotbar to turn them off. Or change or their targeting in such a way that they don't shoot the thing you're trying to capture. We could have them on manual control only. Are you imagining all three of us inside it just going in and trying <laughs> to capture things? It work. might work. Oh. What the? Uh, buy a cat pack? <laughs> I just saw a disconnect label over my own head. Um, <laughs> that's that's a sight. Actually, welding up heavy armor by hand is going to be um, interesting. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> Only I'm less enthusiastic about this plan all of a sudden. All right, I can design a defense drone. Hey, interesting. Well, in case those um pesky space pirates turn up again. Or anything just, really? Just to shoot down rocks. Because obviously, but I think, I think like a drone's sort of... going to be better if it's turreted. I mean, you could do a little drone with turrets to just circle the carrier to shoot down meteors. Yeah, that's my that's the idea. Um, I might actually do that now, rather than trying to figure out how many event controllers I'm going to need to make <laughs> anything work here, which is going to be uh, a it's lot. Event controllers all the way down. I yeah, yeah, a little bit. So I had an idea with the uh, with the drones. Instead of having them like so that they'd have to launch themselves out. I was thinking it might be best 
to um, have them remote controlled, like have a remote control on them so we can fly them into and out of the carrier when they need to launch. But once we set them out, then we just trigger the autopilot and let it go. Just because I'm a little worried that they won't be able to navigate these very well at all. I mean, we can try. I'll try and make it fully automated so it's just a push a button from inside and it launches itself. But it might be nice to have it not do that on return so that if we're in combat and the big ship's moving around, uh, they don't attempt to get in and end up smashing into it. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. We've got enough holes in the carrier as it is. <laughs> Always probably end up with more. So I'm thinking maybe a single turret and a couple of Gatlings will be to go here. These little drones. Let's flip that around. Right. Where do we want the first thruster? Um, that's a good question. I'm really tempted to make this with an auto cannon turret instead of Gatling, just for difference. Yeah, I'm gonna. I guess you want to have the thrusters reasonably well back from the. We'll want the reverse thrusters pretty well defended. Yeah, we want like sort of side fairings or something. I'm looking at what the hitbox is making play so we don't burn it to a crisp with the reversing thrusters. But equally, uh -huh. we don't have it sticking way out on the sides where they'll probably get shot. We could set the reverse thrusters way back in the frame and just have like a cavity. Yeah, we could inside do that. the ship. Sort of like um. A bit further back. Oh, well, actually, we have to move it out a block. That could work. Maybe like. Maybe just have them central, like around the main core, like that. Well, actually, yeah, if we're not worrying about needing to walk through this front bit. I have a drone-ish. Uh, basically, I have a connector, a battery, two Gatling guns, and an auto cannon turret. Largely because I never build auto cannons, and I thought the auto cannon turret would be more fun because it's got the small connector on the bottom. For no do other reason think, whatsoever. Do you think something like this can make? Well, there was, yeah. we've only got, what, six thrusters, so we'd be doing, what, three forwards and three backwards? Unless we capture more. I guess, was... I guess, weirdly, braking's actually more important on this, so we don't just slam into whatever we're trying to capture. Yeah. I guess we do four. Um, what's, what's the damage range on a large ion thruster? That's, That's usually two or three blocks. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we've got enough stuff. Build one. Turn it up to full and see. Okay. Yeah, could do just, that. Just test it. Like, just put a regular light armor block in front of it. Or whatever block shape it is that you want to have in front of it. Uh, and just test we're, it. we're attached to the carrier, though. Yeah? So it's going to move us around. Not much. <laughs> Not yeah, much at all. Ma the Marlin will fight it. Alright, are you ready? No, the Marlin oh. won't, but uh, yeah, go for it. It won't? Oh, with an override and a subgrid, maybe oh. it will. Okay. If it was just uh, an okay, override on the now. same grid, it would. Um, so it doesn't quite reach to where the O container is. So yeah, as long as we don't put anything... Um, Wait, I thought you were going to actually yeah. test it. Like, put a block yes. there and see. Uh, I was just yeah. eyeballing it. No, no, actually test. That's the fun part. Because then you get blammo if it... What, so, so fill up a hydrogen tank and chuck it in front. Oh, it doesn't need a to be something. A large hydrogen tank. <sighs> Just ignoring you two. Well, there we go. Heavy armor. Okay. Power it up. Blammo. Mm, maybe heavy armor wasn't the smartest idea if we wanted to see immediate damage. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like you, you two do a great job of making your own lives more difficult. I mean... The visual indicates pretty clear that at best it will like touch the edge of this block. Look, there's an easy way to find out. <laughs> so, that definitely gets toasted. Yeah, and this doesn't appear to be... Hang on, I'll just replace this with a normal one. Okay, yeah, even taking out all the metal grids, yeah, it's still not getting damaged, even when it's just still played. Alright, so it's three. Yeah. That's handy, the um, power container is a good marker. Um, 
Oh, well, these are arm thrusters, so we can just use um, weld pads because we don't need to worry about firing them. Wait, got that the wrong way around. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We're not that type for resources that the cost of weld pads is something No, you can use weld pads as much exactly. as you like. Yeah. It'd be pretty easy to merge merge block these. Yeah, but I don't think we really need to. You discovered clang drillers. Oh, Rust Freighter. Huh. Rust Freighter must be like a popular model because I'm seeing a lot of factions with it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, nuts. I've left enough room for all of the different AI blocks that I need this thing to have. Oh, maybe I have. <laughs> maybe I have. Um, what are you arming so you know, think Thinking out loud. Epic, where do you think will be the easiest place to attach first? Huh? We're going to do this sort of ring set up with the thrusters. Like around here. Like I can assume the sides are going to be easier. Yeah, they'd all be about the same. Okay. How about we do the side that you're currently on? Sure. And you need a well pad there, and then... I'll just grab the bits for a couple of well pads and then we can get you can get lined up before I place it. Um the, uh, why is like you, you're pushing it away. I'm not stopping it! <laughs> the landing key is not working properly. Is it on auto lock? Yes. How did I bump it away from me with the gear? Because the angle you grabbed it? Oh, and now it's spinning. Did That's it okay back there. Okay back. No, he's pushing the thruster away. It's on auto lock. But why did you let go of it to begin with? Because I needed to. Because I couldn't place it in the angle. Um. That's not helping, Cafe. That's just pushing it away faster. Go yep, back. That's because I lagged and my ship just lurched at it. Oh. <laughs> Um, your suit can't stop a large grid. Capac, you're gonna need to capture this thing. Yes, I'm trying. What do you think I've been doing? You're not moving! Yeah, because I'm looking at my hopper, looking at this thing being on auto lock, and wondering why it's not auto locking to yeah. anything. The reason it doesn't auto lock is because it needs to be at the right angle as well as being in range. You are if... damp to the thruster, right? He wasn't. He's not. If I can. You can, you just have to do it in first person. Yeah, nothing is happening. Yeah, now it is. Oh. It's just bumping it around. Yeah, it's stop not... going for that bit. You need to go for the square bit. Yeah. Yes, I have multiple times and nothing. I'm just phasing through it now. No, you're not. You're close. I'm just oh. rubbing the landing yeah, gear all over down. it on my screen. Yeah, your angle's wrong. I'm, like, directly on a face of it on my screen. Not on mine, you're not. Well, you do it then, because it's... Nothing is making any sense. Oh. <laughs> you just had to get out. <laughs> Come um, back. Hop in. Wait, you're damp to it, so it's just taking off. Yeah. Come back, you need to undo it's your dampness. Damp I'm it's trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you. <laughs> Come back and I've been through that problem before. And yet somehow, every time it happens, Spitzy acts as if it's my fault. <laughs> it's funny in that way. <laughs> and you get so upset that I yeah, can't help but When the universe tries it. to sabotage everything I'm doing, <laughs> I get upset for some reason. I must be mad. You are mad. Both kinds. <laughs> Sorry, I enjoy this so, too much. How are we attaching this thruster? Really? Alright, uh, where am I putting all the time blocks on this thing? Hey, success. Hey, we got the orange beam. Okay, one thruster on. Uh, we probably need to turn the dampers off. Case. Hey, we've got the angry orange glow. Going for thruster what? number two. Oh, because it's... Because they're orange. Yeah, the special ones. Oh, why is everything orange? Huh? Oh, I think it's all the light reflecting off your ship. 
<laughs> that orange. Well, if I you guess... if you get to the right angle, then I guess the rest of it is get... black. So. Oh, what the? What the? Why uh... is Capac phasing through the carrier? Well, it's freaking out. What is happening? Uh, it, it, everything's bouncing up and Dude. down. Undamp from it. I can't. Um... I'm not in it. Uh, can you get back aboard and disconnect from the... Oh, it's... <laughs> what was that? Okay, as soon as I attached my landing yeah, gear to one of the that. assert thrusters, everything started jiggling. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, it wasn't as soon as, because I locked on, and then I'm like, all right, I get out and unlock the thruster so I can move it. As soon as I got out, that's when it started freaking out. Mm. Uh, so we're doing the other side? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, lucky any of this stuff is still here. I'm thinking I'm going to observe from a safe distance, otherwise known as hiding on the Marlin. Well, if you... <laughs> if you don't go to a safe distance and you come to a very dangerous distance, you can unlock it for me and then I don't have to get out of the cockpit. Hmm, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> I ask something. No. Mm. Why have you got a cargo container at the front of this thing? Eh? For cargo. What cargo? Um, no, it was mainly so... One, having bits for building, but also giving us a rough idea of how long we wanted this thing to be. But... Why is your central thing that's holding it all together made out of flimsy line armor? The, like, uh, the like interior plate? That's gonna change. Temporary. Huh. Okay. This thing's very long. Yeah. We're going for basically a missile, apparently. Yeah. You know, oh. the longer you make it, the less your gyro can turn you, right? That's why it's going to have ten gyros. Who cares about turning when you've got speed? Okay. Uh, do you want to do top or bottom? Come back. Uh, bottom. Okay. Are we going to do four reverse? I figured that, yeah, reversing is actually more important than forwards, arguably, in not slamming into the thing we're trying to capture. You do need to be able to catch up to it, though. Yes, but the main issue seems to be stopping when it... <laughs> yeah, I was thinking three forward and three reverse. We could, yeah, that could work. I mean, you can always put on a fourth normal one. Because we, we probably want forward and reverse to be the same strength. Mm, at least for now, yeah. Well, because if we're going, like, in and out trying to grab something, we don't want it to be, like, two different speeds. Uh, so do the same configuration? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Or just an elaborate plan by Splitsy to get me to stop expanding the Marlin. <laughs> oh, it's doing it again. Oh, uh, whoa! It's, um, yeah, Splitsy, you might want to see this. It's, um, certainly something. I bet you two are just nuts. No... I'd recommend, well, it, it just killed it me. Be, oh. <laughs> oh. No, it is very much <laughs> bouncing around. Yeah. And, um... Oh! Oh. Didn't do that last time. I just heard <laughs> shredding. Um... <laughs> yeah. Oh, your landing gear. <laughs> other, other than that, everything seems remarkably intact. Wait, did the other plate just grab it? It did. It's just been grabbed by the other plate next to it. Well, my landing gear. Yeah, and your guns. Oh, it can fly through the welder again. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, maybe we should get rid of these extra plates so they aren't causing weirdness. Hold still. I'm gonna mash you with this potato masher you've stuck on the front of my ship. <laughs> what a pestle. <laughs> It's miraculous. It's almost like you two needed a competent engineer around. Well, where are we going to find one? Uh, maybe some sort of advert? Oh, yeah, classified ad in the paper. Oh, poop. How tight is this? Oh, I just don't know how well the AI is going to do at this. Oh, uh, dear. Maybe, I don't know, change the wall to heavy armor for a test run. No, 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 it's the, the, it's the whole turret scraping. Business. Ow, the door. <sighs> like, I've got a connector, a conversion block, 
a single conveyor and then a turret and that height alone is enough to be very very tight like there is a very small margin oh that uh, kind of ship's just freaking out again no oh. yep so don't get out don't get out don't get out don't get out right now get back oh good <laughs> said don't get out what the ammo where's that ammo because <laughs> Kavak doesn't... lost more guns yeah <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter whether I'm out or in. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grind off this other mag plate. Yeah, because it's also stationary; it shouldn't go anywhere. Well, I mean, there's a little bit of movement of the whole thing, so it is floating away slowly, but it's very slow. Uh, top or side? Other side. Yep. That's welded up. All right, let's test this. this. We're attaching this way. Can the AI get me out of the hangar? Hey. One more. The one that splits is just condemned to life in deep space. Hey, I figured the with the amount that your years. green menace is slowly losing, there wouldn't be much left if I didn't do that. Hey, I haven't lost any of the thrusters yet. I just drifted away slightly. <laughs> yes. Okay. Launch play. So which side is this on? Okay, that way. You know what? The drone made uh, it out. Yep. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can do it twice. Hey, success. We have six assert thrusters. All attached to the uh, well, frame, I guess. We have a right. drone that only slightly scrapes itself on the floor as it leaves the hangar bay. So success on this front too. Hey! Oh, artificial gravity is weird. <laughs> it's, it's basically down relative to the <laughs> frame. Yeah, um, I'm gonna need to work on the artificial gravity on the carrier at some so point. So we're gonna use batteries or a reactor as our power supply batteries. for this thing. Okay. Combat ships don't get reactors yet. Batteries. What else do we need on this thing? Gyros. Yeah, we need those. I think we were saying, like, basically have the interior be behind the reversing thrusters, pretty much. Uh, well, yeah, anywhere in the sort of thruster section, just not up at the front. Yeah, not up at the front. But basically, at the front here, we want like a heavy armor umbrella that sort of protects everything. Yeah. Oh, I need to put a beacon on the carrier. Oh yeah, we might want to put a beacon on this thing somewhere too. But I need a beacon on the carrier for the uh, autopilot to work because I just realised I have not been doing it relative to a position. I've been doing it just arbitrary, which doesn't work. Yeah, a bit of a problem if we move. Yeah, a little bit. Especially as I'm guessing you have to you're having to turn off collision evasion. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> that don't work in this setting. Oh no! I need to find the proper place for the beacon because if I change it I have to redo all of the AI stuff <laughs> uh, uh, well probably up near the bridge somewhere then I was actually thinking in the rear section so Fact, I don't want to lose it it should be in the control room okay, do you think we should just make this like this as narrow as that's possible that's where all the traffic is being directed from I was going to say do you always want to make it like as, almost as narrow as possible so like, as much as possible is protected from the front just by the landing gear. Uh, well, that was one of the things I was trying to do with the Polo conflict. Well, I guess maybe want to make it slightly wider, because it looks a bit weird with the thrusters being like that. Well, we can, like, rather than have, like, you know, well. What? what are you thinking? Uh, rather than those half block ones, we could go go to full block and then make it a little bit wider yeah go out like that just flare it out a bit and then but like everything behind this can be like regular armor it doesn't need to be heavy i suppose so then again all heavy armor um well it should stand up to any drones that turn up to try and shoot it uh, true but like are we gonna um, oh, you were talking about putting some Gatling guns on it. I was gonna say, yeah, we could. In that case, we just use the half armor. 
Or we could even use some heavy armor panels. Oh, yeah. The upshot of heavy armor panels is they don't deform. Yeah, how? Okay, they're not quite... They might... The strength might be, actually be almost be the same as normal light armor blocks. Because 15 steel plate, but they've got 5 metal grids. I don't know proportionally how much stronger um, metal grids are compared to steel plate, though. Hooray! We have a drone that can launch itself and then goes on patrol. Hey. It doesn't come uh, back yet, though. I was going to say... Shoot has down it, space rocks. Has it got a beacon on it so we don't accidentally shoot it in a panic? <laughs> Oh yeah, it should have that, shouldn't it? I've got it set to patrol between 800 and 1600 meters. So it sits a fair way off from the carrier so we don't end up crashing into it. <laughs> unexpectedly. Inventory full. And I can probably make it patrol a little bit closer, I guess. Well, I think I'll, what I'll actually put on them is uh, they need to have an antenna so that we can remote into them and tell them to come back. But yeah, it works. Hooray! I honestly think we kind of want to have these thrusters, at least the ones on the side, sort of on the outside of the ship. Because enclosing them will look kind of weird, I think. But well, you won't be able to see them, so it'll be fine. I know, but it's just... It, internal thrusters seem a bit weird to me. But that's what these vents are for. But those textures are really broken. Hmm? Where? Yeah, up here. Oh. That's uh, interesting. Okay. Now here's the real question. Can I get the drone to come back in through the welder array? Oh. Yeah, Mac, I think we should go and watch this just in case it fails spectacularly. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, uh, I'll, I'll tell you when I do the test run. Yep. Dutch car oh. carrier? What? Well, it's purple. When Dutch he calls it out purple? ahead of time, it usually works. It's almost like I do that because I think I've got it right. Almost Inventory like you do it, full. knowing that it'll disappoint me when I go all the way over there to see spectacular failure and it just boringly Zero works. Storm oh, storm. Yeah, but this one shouldn't be boring if it works. It should just be cool if it works because it'll be doing some fairly complex, complex maneuvers without any assistance. Alrighty. Um, I haven't tested this. I've literally just recorded a path. I do not know if this is going to work. I am definitely not setting Capac up for something to work perfectly and for him to be disappointed. Uh, you guys want to come watch this? Where are you? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Well, if you were back. landing a drone, where would you come in through? A hangar, presumably. Well, the main hangar entrance underneath. Just gotta figure out which way is up. The enemy base is down. Ah, this... This drone. Yep. The, auto the cockpit part. on the back is obviously temporary. It's just allowed ah, to allow me to record all you. the points. That Yes, that is me. Yes. Uh, is the points recorded relative to the cockpit or the no. center of the thing? Uh, the it's points are relative made to the up. Block. And... Uh, yep. Oh, yep, all the um, AI blocks. And everything doesn't matter? Is that what you're trying to say, Kavak? Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> if all goes well, it's supposed to just, what, board itself? Yeah. So when Kavak shows up, I'm going to hit play, yep. and I will not be controlling this at all. I'm here. All right. Here goes. Oh. Ooh. Um, ooh, I thought for a second the cockpit would make it too wide. It's doing well so far. It's doing very well so far. Oh, it's a bit high. No. Nope. <laughs> Trust these welders. Ah! <laughs> Wiped me. <laughs> it just clipped through the top of the door. It's locked. Well, now you've only got to do it uh, five... How many more times? <laughs> yeah, so each drone is going to have to have its own blueprint so that it has the correct waypoints. I really hope the blueprints actually la a copy across the waypoints. I don't know if they do. Yeah, so you're going to have to like you have to label each hammer. Every time I have to replace a drone, I might have to redo the pathing. 
no. Oh. Um, I mean, the rest okay, of the controls should be fine. Maybe so it's really just redoing the path. was the better idea because then you'd have to worry about returning. <laughs> well, Death just go straight ahead and out. Having some warning drones is probably not a bad thing, even if it does take a bit of work to set them up. I mean, this is an extra turret that's moving around. That's it's an extra thing to get shot instead of the carrier. Yeah, it's a bit of a distraction. We'll see how it goes. If it ends up being a major pain to set it up and have it launch each time, then um, I will probably end up just filling this with regular old fighters for us. But if it ends up being useful, then right. But I'm, I'm really impressed that it managed to navigate through all of that path. That's a complex route to its hangar. TFE, come have a look mm -hmm. at the front and see yeah. what you think of my... Um, fix for the thruster problem what are you going to do with the thrusters look at the front of the armor oh okay i actually kind of like that yeah they are now the thrusters wait so that's wait is that shining through or did you paint them oh light panels yeah they're yeah. just light panels that's very clever illusion yeah <laughs> Plus, it looks like a bunch of scary eyes. Yep, so that is also true. You're, you're giving it a very okay. intimidating looking nose. <laughs> Man, I hope we one day find some large, large grid assert thrusters that yeah. we can stick on here. So you see what Kavak's doing? He's basically faking the light shining yep. through. Yeah, but it, he's cheating with the internal thrusters. Hey, they're not internal yet. <laughs> oh, why does the passage window not have an option to only have the window on one side? I don't um, want a window on both sides. I want the window on the outside. <laughs> well, okay. Um, hold on. Uh, I've got something that'll fix that. So, uh, build build one of those passageways. Uh, just a normal one. Yeah, just just wherever you're thinking of putting putting them. Oh wait, can you put like one of those hatches or covers on the other one? No, just just build. Build the one with the window up. Yeah, I was, gonna say, I was gonna say, yeah, if one of the new blocks can be used to block the window. Oh, I was thinking of something else. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I suppose, but I was thinking, yeah, could the cargo, um, what are they called? What are they under? Cap. Do the conveyor caps fit to the windows? Um, not quite. <laughs> okay, the, the gravity here is really wonky to test the passageway, yeah. but. Um, but yeah, so you got the exterior window, but then you've got like a light on the inside as well. And the, the grating looks interesting and makes it look not like a window, but oh. like a Wait, functional got, panel or something. I've got something better. I've got something. Um, I need to get superpower back first. Yeah, it looks a bit, looks yeah. a bit bland. Mm. Uh, what if you do a... Ooh. The problem is I think the other caps don't cover the window. Um, yeah, the, I'm not sure I necessarily want to see. Oh, wait, you do an end pipe. Well, if it, I was thinking if it goes all the way across, you could have it like joined to the one on oh, the other well, side. Oh, see across, yeah. yeah. But you could also do a um, end pipe. How does that look? Uh, oh, it's yeah, it's well, it, the same. But it seals up against the window better. I, I feel like I could definitely use that in some kind of design somewhere. Yeah, to have it like look across at the what are on earth we're doing. Huh? What? I wasn't listening to you. Uh, he's yeah. having a nap. I am still setting up drones and it is um it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. I think I've almost got it working though. Like so that it can actually go out and do a thing. Now, one of the Something that I've just realized about it though, we probably don't want to just leave them out there working, because it would decide that Cyclops is an enemy and go attack it. Yeah, it's close enough, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you set the range lower? Nope. <laughs> it's just, can it lock the target? If it can lock the target, which it can do as long as it's within two and a half kilometers. But um, can you reduce its locking range? No, that's what TFA just asked him. No, you cannot. It's not exactly the past. It was what he was implying. 
So, I need to add an antenna to this, and I need to add a beacon. I mean, not a bacon. I need to add... Con. A... Bacon. Yeah. I need to add a bacon. I need to add an antenna, and I need to add a projector. That's what I need to add, so that it can be repaired. And a programmable block, so that it can activate things, and I can do clever stuff with it, like make it automate automatically activate the welder array. In fact, maybe I'll just put sensors in this welder array that automatically turn them on if a ship is in there. But automatically turn it off if a person is in there. Hmm. Or maybe I just have it automatically turn on if a ship is in there. <laughs> People have to be careful. I don't know. Danger. Sounds it's fun. tempting. Uh -oh. That'll be fine. Wait, will the drone detect meteors as enemies? I don't know. It's an interesting thought. But yeah, realistically, I probably can't leave it out there patrolling with how close these enemies are coming by. Unless you want me to just do that. <laughs> uh, that seems like potentially a bad idea. <laughs> we just roll with it. Okay, projector is the last thing. I think. I'm sure I'll figure out some other stuff later that I've forgotten and I need to add to this and that's going to be a pain. Now I need to charge my suit. <laughs> Blueprints, blah, 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 blah. Have you thought about where we're putting the lateral thrusters yet? Um, that's a good point. I hadn't really thought of that. I'll work on those. Alright. The drone is all, is basically ready. Hey. Styled. Oh, I painted something wrong. That would explain the um furious painting noises. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I really want to. I really want to launch it, but I'm really afraid of what happens if I launch it and it picks up one of these targets. I can't really launch it until we're ready to fight. Glad you made it a little bit shorter. I'd be interested to see how well this thing moves or not. <laughs> well, it doesn't have any gyros yet, so poorly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait. Why have you got a helm staring at glass and then a cockpit at the back? Um, I think because we ended up just using them to recharge our suits. Yeah, the cockpit is our recharging station. Yeah, the helm is where the actual thing is. Right. I think if we're gonna, we're gonna raise it up a block, we probably need to put them in a line down the middle so it could, so the size could slope up towards it. So why are you raising it up a block? Uh, because getting air tightness yeah, will be a pain down here. <laughs> yeah, gravity is weird here. Um... Obviously, the top half of the thruster isn't airtight. So why are you using half blocks up here? Um, that was just for giving more space underneath, basically, at the moment. I mean, if you use whole blocks, then you don't have to worry about the airtightness, because it'll be airtight. Yeah, hang on, are the... I going to say the warfare ion thrusters aren't airtight on the top bits, are they? No. But if you just use full blocks around the thrusters, then you don't need to push it out and then have a weird thing that's sticking out that's not sticking out anywhere else on your ship. Yeah. I feel like you're creating the problem here rather than yeah. creating a solution. The other thing is, um, depending on yes. what... So, where in here do you need to actually be standing? Like, sorry, let me rephrase that. What blocks are you, are you wanting to place in this space? Um, I'm pretty sure what we're thinking of doing is putting, like, a second seat to control the turret. Yep. So, if you put the second seat in, you only need to do full blocks around where that seat is. The rest of it, you could put passageways or plate or something like that mm. as a ceiling to seal in the space. Yeah. And have your half block above, just as you've done. This is why I... Oh, there's a Thumberbird. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was random. Well, I, I, I was just looking at the red markers and seeing what they were. And realizing that um, it's going to be a while till you guys are ready. Not if you help us weld. Oh. Sure. Epic, do you think. Um, are we sticking with just the gnaw ion thrusters because that's what the assert ones look like? Uh, not all of the assert look that way, but most I mean, do. Yeah, the ones we've got are. Yeah. I'm saying, are we trying to maintain that consistency or do we want to do something different? I uh, well, probably wouldn't mix different thruster aesthetics so one of the reasons to keep it that way is you're probably going to replace them with the cert ones as we capture more that is a good point assuming this thing survives that long 
I mean, yes. it's going to have a lot of heavy armor on. I'd rather hope it. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'm really interested they... if it's even going to be able to move. Uh, well, I mean, we could do a test flight now. Yeah, true. The unwelded blocks do take their on, on their full mass. There you go. I helped. You happy? Sure. Delighted. I probably need to completely rework what this is carrying in, in terms of cargo to weld for welding up heavy armor. Which might not be the worst thing, since I'd probably use this if I ever get round to replacing some of the external armor on the carrier with heavy. This would probably be what I'd use to weld it up. I was say, weren't we talking about patching up the holes and damage bits on the carrier with heavy? Yep. I've already put a couple of bits of heavy in, but not many. I was going to say, I can see all the dents. <laughs> yeah, I've been slowly repairing some of them. That is an advantage of Weldless, though. The dents really stand out. You can't miss them. An advantage, you say? <laughs> well, an, an advantage for repairing them. I'm not sure I'm convinced it's an advantage. Oh, there isn't a way to reorient the cameras, is there? No. Wait, did you, like, put a camera sideways? No, I put a... I put a camera on the top and the bottom of the, uh, the big magnetic oh, the plate. Little... Yeah. Uh, why is everything spinning? Yeah, why is it... why is it moving? Well, Gravity bothered me. Ah! Quit. Hey, we have normal-ish gravity. Nah, uh, I'd say really. Splitsy stands on the helm. <laughs> There's, there's some odd gravity going on down there. Oh, yeah, here. here. Oh, uh, um, can we <laughs> jump back up to the other bit? You, no, I so think what's you've going actually, on here? You've made it worse. The gravity. <laughs> Not made it worse. You the have. problem it, is... Now the bit where you no, actually fly from has different gravity to the rest of the ship. Where is your gravity gen on your ship? Mine? Yes. Mine is... Uh, wherever it is. Because yours is currently providing most of the gravity for that ship. Really? I thought I'd yes. shrunk the box so it no. basically fit around mine. Did it reset its settings? No, I suspect you just didn't actually realise how much it goes off the back end of your ship. No, I did. I, I even had the overlay switched on when I was doing it. So where where is it? Um, I'm pretty sure it's towards the rear and it's in the roof. Well, that's your problem. You need to have them centred. Oh. Or have two of them. Because for you to extend all the way to the front, you've had to extend way off the back. A bit. So you're probably better off having two, one in the cockpit and one down the back somewhere. I'm also worried it's going to do that weird thing where it suddenly accelerates at warp speed if I try moving it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you guys have built a grey monstrosity. Yeah, because we haven't painted it yet. Well, I think painting and its first test run are something we're going to be doing next week. I mean, the first test run that you already took it on when you decided you were going to fly it around a bit just for fun. You mean when I rotated it while still magne magnetically locked to its connector? Yeah. That counts. Sure. Well, test flight and probably complete rebuild coming up soon. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. That's rude, Dave. Eh? Hey, guessing we'll need a complete rebuild is pretty rude as well. <laughs> Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. How did I not die? <laughs>